Hello and welcome back to Metroid Zero Mission. Last time we got the various suit and explored quite a bit of the underground. Now it's time for us to do a quite important thing, which is, well, obviously continue exploring. Because it would seem that with the various suit and speed booster, we just kind of have a lot of options. And uh, one of the options is somewhere here. As you can see, we are... Hmm. Not able to proceed that way. Without a speed booster. Or are we? Hmm. We, no, yeah. As you can see, we can't push through here. So, even though it seems as, you know, this was kind of worthless because we can't proceed, uh, we at least, you know, know the boundaries of where we can go. Because if we head back through here, and of course, save the game beforehand, uh, as you can see on the map. There's something interesting. First of all, this is here, and I assume, yeah. A false bottom. So, uh, since we're here, I, I kind of assume. Okay, we're gonna need yeah. Okay, go away. We we need a missile to go through here. And look at what we have. A wave beam. Ooh, this beam, it can waves can pass through solid objects. Ya don't Hey, that seems mighty useful. Is this gonna drop me into the lava as a troll? No, but I really wish it did. Uh, what does this do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, if you are a coward, you can try to safely kill these. Oh, there's only one now. Uh, okay. If you're not aware what two benefits this gives us, well, uh, so benefit one, uh, we have a wider beam that can pass through shit, so no longer will an, an enemy be blocked by dumb shit. Uh, that's one benefit, right? The second benefit, the beam is wider, which lets us, as you can see here, if we start running right here and spam it. Oh. Christ. What is that? Uh oh. This is a boss fight. No, it doesn't seem to be. It seems we've killed it. Well. Oh. Huh. How do we kill it exactly? Come on, go away. Back into your shell. Ah, huh, this is an interesting situation. Uh... 
What if we only push it back a little? Is there a way we could, uh... Yeah, uh, we can't go back. There needs to be something we can do. Mm, what is right now in our arsenal? On the wave, just both. Go back. What are you supposed to do? No, it pushes you back. I was hoping we could uh, jump over it. No, it apparently seems. Uh, I theorize uh, maybe we are supposed to... Uh, Morph ball, and then... Oh no, again. But you can see where I'm coming from, right? Uh, we just, if we morph ball at the correct place, uh, we could get under it and kill it that way. Huh? Ah, okay, I get it. So, if you didn't get it, what you are supposed to do is head down. Yeah, so you see how it's very fast when it's chasing you. That is uh, where you need to, that is why you need to place the morphles down, you know. Uh, there we go. And, uh, ooh, how do we get to there? Okay. So we have that. And, uh... Oh, we need to go around again. So now that we have this... How could we get back there? Because this needs, you know, the shine spark or whatever. Uh, huh. Theoretically... Uh, what we could do... Huh. Yeah, I don't know, even. Here's my theory. Let's head all the way back up here. Okay, that- I am correct. This is basically the ice beam and the, uh, wave beam. Uh, maybe there's another way to get through. Uh, not here, it seems, as, uh... You know... Uh... Yeah. Uh-oh, no way. We need to go all the way around again. Because maybe there's, considering, you know, we have the wave beam now, uh... Maybe... Uh, we can make our way through the other way. I like how we can now do this without even relying on the guy. The dude. But since this is progress, we must save it. Where did my mouse go? There we go. Yeah, with all the time that we're spending in Norfair, I mean... I mean, it is the best theme in my opinion. Just the beginning of it. Really well put together. I like it a lot, if you can't tell with all the uh, praising I'm doing. Then, of course, uh, another great benefit of the wave beam. There's a higher chance you're gonna hit that guy. Uh, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. And another benefit is that since it passes through walls, uh... Let me see, uh... So that... That is somewhere over there, yeah. Uh, is there... I have a feeling this guy is like the answer to my uh, transportation. Oh yeah, shit, I should go out and then head back in and wait for him, you know, not to be there. Is there... Oh, I knew there was something there. Hold on. Can you continue going there, please? Maybe a bit more. Come on, go. Okay. Okay, infinite bomb jumping up. Come on. And tell me this is one of those blocks that will, like... Yeah, it's one of the blocks that will reappear itself. Whatever. I mean, I can also jump as the ball. Whatever. We're gonna need to learn how to infinite bomb jump, I guess. I mean, learn is a... C come on! How do you... Come on. Get me up there. So theoretically, if I get myself into uh, this and then immediately start doing it. No. Again and then... How do you do this? How do so many fucking players do the infinite bomb jump? It's so... Like, that's kind of the issue, I guess. It's just difficult. Come on. Oh! Well, that was almost there. Uh... Come on. Yes. Fuck you. Holy shit, that's a long fall. And what I'm rewarded with this, huh? This is my reward. And if I... At least I'll never have to do this again. Yay, missile tank. And so now, uh... I can bomb that block, and... Yay! <laughs> it's so bad. I don't know, like... Is that what I'm supposed to do? That's like the number one question in Metroid, right? Is it cheese or is it what you're supposed to do? But what I've... Like, that's kind of the fun in Metroid to me. Because... Kind of trying to cheese the game... As fun as it is to me may not be fun to my viewers. But with Metroid, it's like, you know... Cheese is what the game is kind of built around. Uh... Hmm. Got a sizable room, eh? Oh. Really? How do I hurt you? Oh, I see how I do it.
Okay. Something which I do kind of like with, like, you know, the Metroid stuff is that you can just focus on, like, you know, surviving if you're struggling in a boss battle and, whoops, and, like, there's a chance that you'll, you know, do, that you'll live because focusing on shooting down the boss of projectiles often will give you, you know, health or ammo. Whoops, I keep shooting him accidentally by trying to blow those things up for health. Or ammo. Either or. Uh, I can't jump all the way there. I screwed myself out of an entire cycle. Whoops. Whoops. Oh my god, I keep doing it accidentally. Unless maybe I can do it here as well. No, there's a barrier in the middle. To stop me from doing what I just tried to do. Okay, now, and, uh... Oh, shit! Ridley? Can I go back? No, I don't think I can. I think I will, uh... Be forced to go down and foam. Uh-oh! The enemy ship has landed! What does this mean for us? It means it's, uh, we're in Ridley's. Uh, and, shit, sorry. What does Ridley's mean? Well, we're about to see. First of all, this music is very interesting. Uh, secondly, there's a save point here. Thirdly, it seems some parts of the map are already kind of explored? Well, there's Ridley. Okay. So, if we head through here, you can see there's, a uh, An apparently empty room, but as we all know, you know, none of these rooms are ever empty, are they? Uh, come on. That was funny. Is there... Is there nothing behind the wall? Huh. Okay, spawn yourself. Hmm, maybe we'll... Okay, I need to wait for the plasma beam. Because the plasma beam can uh, shoot through enemies. That one's pretty OP. I'll be honest. So nothing seems to be doable, you know, there. Unless... Wait a minute. Somewhere on the top. Yeah, is it? Come on, game. Ow. Oh, yeah. And I keep forgetting I can do that. I keep forgetting I can jump high up. What is... Oh. Gee, what's that? Is this gonna drop me down? No, yeah, it will. Okay. At least getting here is easy. Uh, so now we go down and uh, around.
Shit. What is that? Do I want to even know what that is? Wait a minute. We haven't seen what's up there. Which tells us everything we need to know about the importance. Very. You know, uh... Considering... No, let's try that again. You know, considering we're not... Being told what's up there. I, ooh, fuck off. Hmm. Shit. Really? Uh, we'll just leave it for later, I guess. Because if we hit something with a missile, it should, like, you know, reveal itself. Ooh, that's a block we can't break open yet. Mm hmm. Huh. Well, I don't exactly know where the, uh... Red thing should be. Ooh, what's... That lava is fake. And uh, what is over here? How interesting. Uh... I don't even know what these things are, but whatever. They're like those weirdo enemies from um, Mario Bros. 2. Uh, talk about enemy spam. Uh-oh. Okay, that is... Okay, both of these holes are in fact real. Only this one is fake. Good to know, good to know. The main benefit is that, uh, you know, you can hit these things through the platforms. Fuck's sake. So, you know, uh, you can you don't have to, uh, wait for them to appear so you can hit them, you can just hit them. It's nice. Maybe I'll just take the hit at this point instead of falling down. Yeah, whatever. So many of these. And then there's just a drop. But would that drop actually be useful? Would it? Hmm. I'd argue that's a no. Ah, uh, die. Actually, we can farm here for a little. We'll need like 15 more missiles or whatever. Yeah, see how quickly the missile grind is going up? I wish you could grind this quickly in GT Online, but alas, that's never going to happen. So, we may continue. Ooh, what the fuck are those? Well, that's not exactly a hard secret, you know, uh... Should probably shut up before something bad happens, but, you know... That's how it usually goes, uh... Ooh, what's this? That's a super missile sign. And over here, there's nothing. So, where do we get soup missiles, though? <gasps> no! Uh-huh. Uh-uh. 
Damn it. Okay, so if here's a save point, I'm guessing Ridley is going to be next door. Uh, we are relatively prepared. Are we? I think we are. I mean, there's that. Ow. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight Ridley. Fuck off. We're not, we're gonna just really quickly eat some more of the bugs and, uh... Oh, I'm fucking tense as shit. Let's see what awaits us in... Unknown item. With a very uncomfortable jingle. And uh, we can heal here. Ah. 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 Okay. So, uh, here's my theory Ridley's gonna be here waiting for us. Yes. Uh oh. Stop screaming, you bastard. Hit him anyway, okay. Hmm? Okay, but not... We can't hit his big tail. Ah, fuck. Uh, that is a very damaging attack. I wish you could freeze him or whatever, but no. Come on. It wouldn't be even that bad if he picked us up. Oh my god, really? First try. First try? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. I'm just that good. Oh yeah. Ridley is down. I wonder what Mother Brain thinks. Uh, we may see a fancy cutscene. Uh, let's actually... Morphle jump up. Just so it says we've explored it, you know, uh... What other chance would we have to do this? Whatever, yeah. Hmm, there's also something up there. Oh yeah, shit! Let's... Check this out. Yeah, what's up here? Ooh! Ah! Fuck. No, damn it. As you can probably tell, I was trying to stop him. Anything of use here? Mm, I don't think there is. Okay. Let's head back and save, and I'll see you next time! Where we interview Mother Brain and uh, ask her, how does she feel that Ridley got absolutely shredded? Goodbye.